Hello my loves, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm doing another sustainable Amazon video. The last one I did, or the first one I did, did so well and I enjoyed doing it so much that I thought I would make this a bit of a series. And also after doing the research and looking for products and also shopping myself, it's proved that there are many videos to come because there is so many sustainable, recycled, organic, bamboo, vegan products available on Amazon that I will have a good series for you guys. And it just makes me so happy that these products are available and I just wanna get as many people buying these sort of products over the cheap, nasty, unsustainable waste of money ones. So I'm gonna get straight into this week's video, guys. Please remember to subscribe and let's get into this week's video. The first product is from a brand that I've only just come across and it's called Super Scandi and I love the sound of it. I got these original Swedish dishcloths as you can see they're eco-friendly and natural compostable and biodegradable they're packed by local swedes with disabilities they're super absorbent and durable they're machine washable and they're made in sweden from sustainable swedish forests no plastic packaging 100 percent compostable wrapping made from cornstarch so already when they arrived this piece is loose because you know normally you have the plastic sort of running through they don't use plastic so it just comes packaged like that and you can just pull it off you don't need any scissors it's just very simple and it's made from 70 percent wood pulp 30 percent waste cotton harvested from fsc forests in the south of sweden and like i mentioned the paper is made from cornstarch we are desperately in need of dishcloths and we don't want to be buying those colorful ugly plasticky dishcloths that we're used to buying and that are only available in the supermarkets and we wanted some nice aesthetically pleasing ones to our kitchen and what's nice about sustainable recycled products is it is usually this very plain color these do have a little pattern on them so you've got these sort of leaf patterns for super scandy so i'm guessing design park and are the ones that have designed it and you've just got a plain gray one plain white one and also this sort of one as well and i'm extremely pleased with these stefania will be pleased to know that i filmed this video because she's been waiting to get these in the kitchen they've been sitting waiting to be filmed and after everything that's been going on she's been waiting a little bit longer than expected so next up is some reusable makeup rounds from a brand called eco femini eco Eco, <laughs> Eco Femini, and they are 100% unbleached cotton and bamboo fiber. It also says that they can be washed at 30 degrees and you can also iron them on a low setting. These are actually from the same brand that I featured in my first Amazon Sustainable video and my last one, the Tofu Maker. So they do these as well. So it comes in this lovely recycled netted bag. And then you have makeup rounds. They're such a lovely size. I've had some in the past and they're a lot smaller. These are a great size because you really wanna make sure your makeup's off. You don't want to be leaving anything on your face. They're also incredibly, incredibly soft. And they seem to have like a two layer, so you can see, sewn together. So it's like two pads sewn together. There seems to be something else in here. What's this? Oh, it's just another cute netted bag to carry your bits around with you oh it also says that you can apply your toner and creams with these pads as well so you can see how many have i got in a pack here i have quite a few so you get 10 pads in the pack and obviously you can wash them and 10 is enough to be using and washing there's another two products i got from eco Femini, and i can't remember for the life of me what i ordered so it will be a surprise for us together. I swear I did this order such a long time ago. It was before my mum fell and I was supposed to film this in June. So these, oh, this takes me back to my childhood. Oil control blotting papers. These are fantastic. If you're combination or oily skin like me, I tend, you can already see, this is the beginning of the day, but I'm, I'm oily already here in my t-zone and on my forehead these are fantastic to dab away the oil they are 100 percent biodegradable hemp 
How interesting and soft wood pulp with added charcoal for absorbency. And charcoal also is really good for the skin. You guys may have seen so many beauty products with charcoal in them from toothpaste to creams, face masks. I used to use one, that was amazing. I am so excited to pop these in my handbag and use them. How fantastic. I swear I only ever knew about one brand, which is the one I used to use. And I don't even know if you can get them anymore. I mean, I don't know. I never walk into places like Boots and Superdrug. So who knows? Then I have another packet. These are oil control blotting papers once again, but these seem to be slightly bigger. They have two sizes. So if you're very oily like me, then you're going to need this huge size. <laughs> and if you're not so oily, then you can get these. But they are both a good size and they will both fit into your handbag well. I am stocked up on my oil pads. And of course, the box and papers are fully compostable. So again, no waste. The next thing is more for health, particularly eye health. It's from a brand called OcuShield and it is their blue light glasses. So I've actually worked with this brand over on my Instagram. This video is not sponsored, but from the products that I used in that collaboration, I was just so impressed and then I came across these while I was on Amazon and thought I have to get them. The other products that they do are the blue light screens so you stick them to your phone, your laptop screen, they come in a ton of sizes and it stops that blue light emitting out to your eyes. I can't rely on everybody's screens to have the blue light protection and of course not all of my screens in my house have the covers, I do need to get some more. So I thought this was a nice way of keeping my eyes protected. They come in so many styles, but I particularly liked this one and they prevent eye strain and help you sleep better. So blue light blocking glasses. I'll show you what they look like on. These are actually unisex as well. I think all of their frames are unisex. So it comes in this very stylish case. You've got the glasses and you've also got your cleaning cloth. I'm not sure if it's gonna show up on screen. Oh, yes, it does. You can see immediately the blue light lens. They are very light, although it looks like that on camera. In real life, it just looks not, it looks more like that. It doesn't look like that. They just look like normal glasses. And that is what they look like on. They're very light. They're very comfortable. They don't feel heavy at all. It actually feels like I'm not really wearing anything. There are so many styles, so many colors that, you know, there's black ones, there's tortoise shell ones, but I just thought I'd go for this clear lens so that it goes with everything. I am guilty for staring at my screen for hours and hours, hours without a break. When I get into work, I go head first. I don't think about time or anything like that. It's just because I love it so much. It's really important that we don't stare at our screens for long periods of time. I think you're supposed to take like a 20 minute break every hour or something like that. It also says worse at night. Blue light makes your body clock go funny. It blocks melatonin, the thing that reminds your body when it's time to go to sleep. So again, I'm guilty of this because I will work at any time, whether day or night. And then sometimes when I go to sleep, I can't get to sleep and it's an absolute nightmare. So wearing things like these glasses or getting screen protectors are just necessities of this day and age, I think. I think we should all have them and also that we're all aware of the damages that blue light can do to our eyes and just be more responsible of taking care of our eye health. So with that being said, I'm very happy with my purchase. I will link these below for you, but like I said, they have tons of styles. And if you wanna know a little bit more about the screen protectors, then I'll put my Instagram handle here. You guys can jump over there and, and take a look. I explained it all in one of my most recent posts. I'll take these off because they are distracting and we wanna talk about the next product. So the next thing I got was another cleaning product courtesy of Stefania. And these are from a brand called Seep. They are four natural cellulose, I think that's how you say it, sponges with loafer scourer, 100% plastic, Free. Now, I have always hated those ugly metal scourers. I don't know why, I just, I've never liked them. And I've been going on and on and on about the fact that there has to be a brand out there that are doing it in a sustainable, more aesthetically pleasing way. And we found one. So it's called Seep, like I said. They are free from plastic, compostable made from renewable sources, they're long lasting, vegan friendly, non-scratch, that's really important because a lot of loafers scratch, these don't, 
and climate positive in partnership with charity on a mission. This is what they look like. Lovely and plain, aesthetically pleasing, good size. So you have the more coarse side on that side and then the softer side on this side. And then you have a little branding logo here. I'm so excited about these because I've been wanting sustainably aesthetically pleasing scourers for so long and I'm so excited to give these a test run. Stefania will be excited too. And again, these have been sitting for way too long. So I need to get these in the kitchen ASAP. Okay, so next we have something that I've been waiting for for months. It took forever to deliver. So I'm a huge fan of rattan and bamboo handbags. I have two in my collection and absolutely love them. One is more sort of casual and the other one is like quite dressy. So I needed an in-between bag for the summer and I just want to know that when I actually bought this I was supposed to be going away on holiday that's not happening anymore so I have this bag that I'm just going to enjoy for the summer that we have left in the UK and of course like I say with everything whatever I buy for me is lifelong like I plan to have it forever and pass it down to my non-existing children but <laughs> I'll pass it on to somebody there are so many bamboo and rattan handbags available on Amazon. So you really can find anything for your style. But I found this one and I'm just in love with it. I just think it's so cute. So you've got these grab handles and I've just got a thing with these handles now. I just want every bag to have it. I'm actually going to attach like a shoulder strap, like a tanned shoulder strap to it. Also, I am on the search for like a sustainable twilly and I just want to wrap it around the handle and just make it look more luxury. This only cost about £13, which is just incredible for a handbag. And then, like I said, you can just accessorize it up. Make sure you come and follow me over on Instagram because that's where I'll be doing it. I'll probably do a little reel of how I do it and the brands that I use. And if any of you guys know of any sustainable brands that do twillies and scarves, let me know in the comments below because these things are quite hard to find. I think I found one brand. I just need to look a bit more into it. I will say if you're using expensive Twilly, you do have to be careful because with these sort of bags, you've got like bits poking out. Also, if you're wearing something that can easily like catch, just be careful. Maybe it would just be better if you hold it like that away from the body over like on the body with a strap. Inside, you have a drawstring bag. So with a lot of these things, things can easily fall out. Like I have one bamboo bag. It's the Cult Gaia one, the sort of moon one. It's literally got gaps in it. So I need to put like a little plastic pouch inside in order to stop anything falling out, especially things like lipsticks. So when I saw this, I just thought that's such a good idea. So you can see it's got this lovely plain cream lining and then you've got the drawstrings on either side to secure it and then you just secure it I just push the drawstrings back into the bag and that's it. You can see everything's closed and secure and the bag just looks lovely. I literally cannot wait to wear this and I can't wait to style it up and I can't wait to show you guys. But yeah, I love this bag. I'll link it below for you guys. But like I said, there are so many styles. You can get circles, you can get box sort of bags. So this is definitely one that I needed and want to add to my collection. Let me know if you're a fan of rattan and bamboo bags. I'm a huge fan. I don't know why. I just think they're fantastic and so perfect for summer. I hate wearing any sort of like heavy materials in summer. I don't know why they just annoy me. Unless it's a really small bag, I just can't deal with it. So these are just perfect. So last up is some hairbands. I actually can't remember the brand because I went to use these and ripped off the packaging and then remembered I had to film this. But I will link it for you guys below, obviously, so you know where to get it from. But these are basically made out of bamboo. They're hair ties and they are also elastic free. So it's just better for your hair. It comes in a pack of 12. And I know these are really good because I actually used a friend of mine's um, she had one and I needed a hair tie and I borrowed it and I couldn't believe how amazing it was. And you know what else with these? They don't like stretch out. You know when you're using it, they eventually start to slack and then you've just got a pointless hairband hanging around that needs to break, but it's not. It's just losing its elasticity. Meaning they last longer and you don't have to keep buying them and you don't have to keep throwing them away all the while protecting your hair. You can also see that there is no metal 
You know, with these things, you've usually got a metal piece that's holding it together. You don't have that. That's another thing that snags on the hair and pulls it. And yeah, like I said, it's renewable bamboo material. The packaging is also recyclable and compostable, but I don't have that because I got way too carried away with opening these to use them. But like I said, I'll link everything below for you guys. And that is everything for today. I've decided to keep these videos a little bit shorter. The first one I did, I didn't realize but I ordered so much stuff and it's just too much information in one sitting. So I've decided to do these videos a little shorter, but a little bit more often. Let me know if that works for you. But I hope you guys enjoyed this week's video. I hope you enjoyed all the sustainable things I found on Amazon. Everything that I have spoken about in this video will be linked below for you guys. Also, if there's anything on Amazon that I haven't come across or haven't mentioned yet, please comment or link it below for me. You might have found something that I haven't come across yet and would be really helpful for everybody else. So make sure you link it below. Thank you so much for taking the time out to watch this week's video. Please give it a like and a comment. And if you loved it, also a share. And please remember to subscribe to my channel if you aren't already. I'm also over on Instagram. It's at Honestly Alessandra, where you can see me in particular styling up this bag very soon. You can see what I do with it. I'll also be wearing it with a ton of outfits, but come follow me over there and say hey. And until next week, guys, stay safe and stay healthy. Bye, guys.